Sharon Fry from the Santa Rosa Quilt Guild and today I'm going to give you some ideas on how to make a bullseye quilt. These are circles that are really easy to make. The quilt behind me I made, these are very difficult curves to sew. These need pins. These you have to be very careful with. These you have to press. The ones I'm going to show you don't need any of those things. Pablo Picasso, the master painter, said that first we're supposed to learn the rules and then we can break them. Well, as long as you appreciate that all of these curves were perfectly done, then we can skip that and we'll go to the fun way of making a bullseye quilt. This is the bullseye quilt. This is the block. If you look closely, you will see that the seam allowance has not been turned under. This is the key to the block. The more you wash your project, the more you play with it, the more texture you're going to get. Now, because there are layers of fabric, we need to cut away the extra layers, and if you're careful, you'll have some really great little circles to play with. Then we'll make a second generation of quilts from the leftovers. Here we have leftovers from the first quilt. You'll see that the block is smaller and the quilts are smaller. Once again, if you cut away the leftovers underneath, you will come up with a smaller block and a smaller one until finally the pieces were so small that all I had left were circles. So I made a vest and then I had more circles. And this maybe is one of my favorite little contemporary quilts. So you started out with a very traditional drunkard's path block and look at all of the different arrangements that you can make with that one block. 